Are you in a rut? You feel like you need to spice things up? Yeah. Maybe we should try these Anto Reyes. <gasps> yes! My name is Carl. And I'm Riley, and welcome to the tasting room, where we try things and tell you if we like them or not. Specifically liquors and mixers. And spirits. And things. And stuff. <laughs> so today we're gonna try Anto Reyes. Uh, this is a liqueur that we were introduced about six months ago in the Mr. Black Cocktail Challenge. Someone used this and I thought it was super interesting. Yes, and we could find it at our local liquor store. Right. Then for the longest time, we just thought this is the only one they had. And then Jessica from Savage Kitchen did a review and she busted out both of these and we were like. Pfft. And so for a liqueur, these are pretty, pretty hefty alcohol content at 40%. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's not a liqueur, that's a spirit. That's a spirit. <laughs> it's that a spirit point. at that point. <laughs> this one's a chili ancho liqueur. I mean, it does say liqueur on it, so it is a liqueur. But I mean, we haven't really specified what they are. And I mean, it's a spicy liqueur. Yeah, and it's, this one's a chili poblano liqueur. Yeah, so made out of poblano peppers and ancho peppers. Yep. Yeah. I'm pumped because I worked in a Mexican restaurant. I love spicy things. The spicier, the better. Yeah. For the most part, I mean, there's there's a line. I'm really pumped to try, specifically the verde because I haven't had that one yet. But I I loved the chili ancho. Yeah, it's really good. It's got this nice heat to it, and it's not like spicy heat. There's just this nice. I mean, it is spicy, but it's not like I just ate a super hot pepper and I made regrets. Right. It's like a slow burn mm -hmm. that like it's it's a really good complement to a lot of cocktails if you like. Spicy things, if you like pepper in your- He found the other ball. <laughs> if you're interested in, in these liqueurs, if you are interested in our channel, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. We'd really appreciate it. Yeah, if there's a, a cocktail that you've had these in, let us know in the comments because we're still new to these and we've only found a couple and we'd like to hear what you guys have to say. Yeah, we've been more successful with making our own around them, which is pretty dope. You can find those recipes linked in the description. Yeah, so let's get a trying first. Which one should we try first? Well, the green one, because I haven't had that one yet and you tried it without me. Okay, I swear we tried it before. It smells amazing, doesn't it? It smells like pepper jelly. Yeah. So when she used to work at one of her video rental store places, uh, one of her customers would bring her this uh, jalapeno pepper jelly. Oh, it was so good. Holy cow, that is where I got that stuff. Mm -hmm. I know. Like... Yeah, so we would use, we used to make grilled cheese sandwiches and put that on there. With apples? Mm-hmm. That is really nice. That, it tastes fresh and green. It tastes like peppers. Like if you were, if you had taken a bite out of a poblano pepper, that is what I taste. Yeah, it smells, the smell is amazing. It, it is very, it smells like you just stuck your face in a bunch of peppers, freshly picked peppers and cut them all in half and you just stuck your face in it. That's yeah. what this smells like. The sweetness of the liqueur, I makes it taste like it was like just come off the grill. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm yeah. gonna drink the rest of it. That's but. fine. But yeah, it definitely has that grill, smokiness to it but it still has that that greenness to it like what a, a plabano pepper has it has that like it's almost like a richness um yeah you know it's very hearty yeah roasty he, he found his balls and he's like how do i get that? oh no <laughs> it's super good and i i am not regretting buying that all like no. like it's honest okay so both these I, it's been a while since we bought both of these, but I believe they're in the $30 price range. Yeah, not much more. Not much more, but it's definitely, I don't want to say luxury because it's not a luxury. It's not like you bought like a $200 bottle, but it's not a necessity for your bar. Mm -hmm. So if you have some extra money laying around, yeah. you want to try something super unique, both of these are going to be in that price house. But this is going to be very limited, I think, in the type of cocktails you can make with it. Like this. I Anything with a lime in it, I think you'll be okay. I yeah. want to try that in a gimlet. Ooh. Yeah. Do you think do you think this could replace the simple syrup? Like, do you think this is sweet enough? Depending on the gin you use, maybe. Like, if you use a dry gin, maybe not. Right. But if you use more of, like, a Hendrix or a, um, like, maybe the Tangare. Yeah. It'd be all right. Like a normal Tangare or the one that we have? The Rangpur. Yeah. I, I don't know if I've ever actually had regular Tangare. 
It is sweet though. There is, is a sweetness to it. Yeah. But then there's heatness to it also. Yeah. But it's almost like natural pepper sweetness, roasty sweetness yeah. that you would get when you grill. Grill, like a caramelization yeah. from that process. Yeah. yeah. It is super good. That's wild. Like, good for you guys, man. Like, <laughs> you are, like, it's it's superb. Yeah. And, I mean, it was worth the 70-mile drive. All right, so let's go ahead and try the chili ancho. Uh, we've had this already. Like I said, we've had it in a couple cocktails. Fortunately, I can't remember what the cocktails were. It's been a while. I used it in my Mr. Black cocktail, the, uh... The hand my, warmer? The Mayan mocha. The Mayan mocha. You did, didn't you? I that did. was super good. It was. That was actually really good. That was, <laughs> yeah. It's a dessert, kind of desserty kind of cocktail, chocolate with this, Mr. Black. Well, I mean, if you've ever had a Mayan mocha, if you've ever had a Mayan mocha, it's a hot chocolate with, or I mean, it's a chocolate latte with spices in it. Usually it's cinnamon and cayenne pepper. Yeah. Um, but everybody uses it, or chili powder. Everybody makes it as a little bit different. Right, which is fine. Because, you know, you just find, you drink all of them and figure out what you like to Oh, ah, there's a lot of alcohol there. <laughs> well, I mean. The, well, the ethanol burn yeah. is a lot more prominent in this one. Right. I agree with that. Super good, like the richness again. There's still richness to this, but like just the hardiness, the earthiness in this it, one. This one is super earthy. You hit the nail on the head with that one. Um, it's earthy. It's roasty. Like this one makes me think of like dried peppers. Yes, like yeah, like when whereas you're this one is green. This one is dried. It is like you're ground up mm -hmm. in in seasonings in foods that you're cooking. Yep. This is the salsa, this is the seasoning in the food. Yep, when, that's like probably the best way to describe how yeah. they are. <laughs> but yeah, that that smell and that taste like yeah, you're sitting there in your uh, medicine, uh, what's it called? The mortar and pestle. Mortar and pestle when you're sitting there and doing that. Or if you just open up like a can of seasoning, you smell yeah. that initial whiff, you're like, Whoo. like it's not bad, it's just, intense yeah. at first and then you're like oh i do like that it's wild and i love every second all of this i can't wait to do a spicy margarita with this thing i can't do i can't wait to do lots of things with both of these yeah uh so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go to their website and we're gonna pull two cocktails off of their website and and try them and just see what they do because i'm gonna be honest most times a company who puts a cocktail on their website that cocktail and spirit is so forward where it's not balanced too great. Right. So I don't know about these. Again, they might fall in that realm of like, is that balanced well? It's just promoting this spirit too much, but it might be good. I don't know. Can I tell you how excited I am? How excited are you, Riley? The fact that I said, I wonder what it would taste like in a gimlet. <laughs> and their website said, <laughs> make this into a, a gimlet. gimlet. Right. That's pretty great. Is Phenomenal. Yep. So the recipe that they had, I'm gonna be honest, their measurements is kind of odd. I mean, whatever. So they said one part uh the the chili or the poblano, the poblano verdes, and then one part gin, one part lime juice, and half a part a lot of uh, simple, simple syrup. syrup. So I did one ounce, one ounce, one ounce, and then half an ounce of simple syrup for the uh, the chili ancho. Uh, we did, they had an old fashioned. Which is his favorite cocktail. So we each got our own, we each got our favorites out of this. Yep. And so this is kind of where the whole using a part is kind of odd. So they said one part of the. Ancho Reyes. Ancho Reyes, One part uh, bitters. One part bourbon. Oh my gosh. One part bourbon. Half a part of uh, rich simple syrup, which I used a Demerara simple syrup. And then two dashes of Angostura, two dashes of orange. So the real quick, the reason why it's odd is, is I use two ounces and two ounces and half ounce of simple syrup, which is a little bit stiffer than your normal old fashioned. But if I did an ounce of each, it's still the same amount of bitter. So the ratio of bitters to liquor can kind of drastically change the cocktail. So rather than reducing the amount of bitters you used, you just decided to double the liquor. <laughs> You're welcome. I mean, oh I, I'm welcome. I'm welcome. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> let's uh, let's start with the gimlet first because I think if we go with the old fashioned, that's gonna be a yeah heavy yeah heavier. So I'm so excited. Yeah, this is definitely one of the this is one of the first cocktails recipes I saw on a website where the the liquor that they're selling is not super forward. 
It's gonna be real forward. Oh, it's in the cocktail, yes, but I'm saying just the recipe itself. Yeah. It called for bulldog gin, but we didn't have that, so we saw beef eater. Because they're um, both uh, London dry gins. Yes. That smells wild. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's nice. Ooh, that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> right? It smells wild. It, it smelled, it, yeah, hold on me. I kind of just smelled it real quick and drank it. Like, it's like the smell of the poblano emphasizes the smells of all of the botanicals used in gin. But then that lime just. But then the lime, the flavor just kind of mm -hmm. makes them hold hands. So it's like, um, I like to cook with poblano peppers. It's it's really easy and they're just great tasting, you know, they're mild. Mm -hmm. um, and then I just, you know, when you squirt that lime juice over it, like when you eat it, this is this is what that tastes like in theory. I want to, I want, yeah, I want all of that. I want to have street tacos and that. Yeah. Right now. It is. Um, okay, thanks. That is street tacos amazing. So in the recipe, they also said to garnish with a cucumber. We unfortunately don't have cucumbers. He doesn't like them. I don't like them. I will enjoy like a cucumber cocktail once in a while, but it's got to be super hot outside and stuff like that. But it's got to have Hendrix in it. What if we made like a cucumber simple syrup? I wonder if that would. I wonder if that would kind of I mean, give like I would this never freshness. be mad about a cucumber simple. Yeah. In anything with lime in it. Yeah, so I just think, I think that might kind of add another little dimension to it, you know, to where it kind of, like, it punches through just a little bit, you know, yeah. you kind of see it there, it gives a little crispness to just the the powerfulness of the of the pepper. Right, but it doesn't need it. It doesn't need it, I just think it would be interesting. I think it'd be really interesting to, like, maybe add a half an ounce of the... Oh, I think that would, yeah. Or maybe a quarter ounce, I don't know, something yeah. to just kind of deepen it to kind of rip to make it richer right because it's very thin yeah i mean but that's gimlets though gimlets right. are thin and light but, and refreshing i don't know i think there's maybe, a lot of flavor i think there's a lot of flavor in there there's a ton of flavor but i want it to be rounder i, I don't know i think it's good as is and that's kind of why i want the cucumber i think that cucumber will do what you're looking How for Without, I think this would, I think using the ancho would just completely change right. the recipe. And that'd be fine. I'd be okay with it, but this yeah. is still delightful and oh. I love every sip of it. Yeah, super good. All right, well, I'm going for this guy. This is a big drink. <laughs> this is massive. This is, one of, this is my favorite double rocks glass. I have pretty big hands and this just fits in there nicely. Just, just pick up the Nick and Nora for reference, and just like. <laughs> so, you may not have any of this. Liar. <laughs> mm. You've had half of it already. I drink two <laughs> drinks. It's super good. Hey. <laughs> All I smell is bourbon. Yeah. And that's kind of sad. See, I was right. But can you, you can taste the chili. No, all you taste is bourbon. Barely. Oh no, I think it's, I think it's there a lot. Mm -mm. Subtle. I mean, try more sippies. No, it's definitely, it's definitely in there. It's definitely in the middle, like up front. You get a lot of bourbon and then the bitters in the in the middle section and then the end you can kind of taste that chili, you can taste the warmth, you can taste that that kick. I think so, yeah. Maybe if we use the different bourbon, I'd be able to taste it, but the bourbon that they recommended was one that we I don't even remember. It's one that we don't have. I've never tried. It was just a, a different bourbon. I'd be willing to try this with the larceny. I think the larceny would be too weak. Yeah, I would. That's what I, I want. <laughs> I I don't know. I think I maybe bullet is not the right one for this. Maybe buffalo trace. I think that would be a good one. Maybe. Yeah. But I do think that the liqueur kind of rounds it out a little bit. Like it's not. You don't get the burn mm -hmm. that you would get with straight bourbon or with a typical old fashioned. I think the demerara syrup helps with that also. 
Yeah, for sure. But you definitely yeah. think that there's a spice in there, you know, like in my throat, I could feel that spiciness and that chili powder kind of just sit in there, linger. Yeah. And I like it, you know, like everyone talks about rye whiskey having that spice, which mm -hmm. I, I agree. But this yeah. is like intensifying that same experience. Yeah. So and it's basically giving you the rye experience with a bourbon. Mm -hmm. Is yeah, and I yeah, mean, yeah, I know. I mean, there's other notes inside of here, yeah, like the chili. Like you can actually taste chilies in it. I can. Well, I mean, I yeah. No. Right. You don't drink bourbon. I do. I mean, again, I'm not. I, I'm not. Obviously, I'm not right. like right. putting Minimize, you down. We're yeah. not minimizing my opinion. Mm -hmm. However. Right. I'm you just are saying saying that your palate can taste it and mine cannot. Right. I think I would enjoy this if we, you maybe did a two to one ratio. Mm, yeah, I think that would be I think I would like that even more, too. No, not even more. I think I would like that just the same. It would be a whole nother experience. Right. I think I'll just stick to my gimlet and I'll stick to my old fashioned. Uh, we have way more tasting room episodes, so if you enjoyed this one, other ones are just like this, where, again, we like to try things, give you our reviews of them. I'm telling you right now, we like these, so if you have them available to you, pick one up. 100% grab them. Cheers, Cheers, everyone. Tink. Tink.